Hello everybody. Welcome to our daily vlog. This is what I look like right now. I am using my iPhone because all of my vlog cameras are broken and not working, which is a main reason why I haven't been vlogging on my own. I just got back from the gym. I didn't record any of the gym because I don't like filming in gyms. I think it's like an invasion of other people's privacy, but that's just me. I'm gonna put on, I got some new face sunscreen, but it's tinted and I've never used a tinted one. Let's see. Why isn't it coming out? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Look at the color. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah. Definitely gave me a little tint. Okay, and then Normally after the gym, I just, I don't wash my hair if I don't need to. I do wet my bangs. Hello? Hi. Are you leaving? Yeah. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Have a good day. I use the Orbe Royal Blowout. Then this is all I do. Those are the bangs and then, see my hair is like fine. I blew it dry yesterday. Yeah, yes. So that it would be like pretty good to go for today. And I'm just gonna go over it a few times with my hair straightener. Well, my hair straightener heats. I'm just gonna do a little makeup. God, I just wish I didn't have rosacea. I would be just so beautiful. <laughs> it's like one of my biggest insecurities and some people are like, I don't even know and I'm like, well, I do. Like I would absolutely be the person to just like never wear any makeup ever if that part of my skin didn't exist. But then I like have to put concealer on because I get insecure about it and that probably doesn't make it any better. And it's like so dry and scaly and I'm just an old ghoul walking around with rosacea. So I cover it up. Wait, I gotta show you guys this thing. So I've been using this blush by this brand. I think it's called Espresso. Um, and basically, so you see it's clear. You literally like dab this in it. Now it's not clear. It like goes with your skin tone. Isn't that the coolest thing on earth? I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, this is gonna be the first outfit for the podcast that I will wear. How cute is this Boston Marathon shirt? TJ and I went to a flea market in Pasadena and I got it in. Starts in Hopkinton, then goes to Ashland. This is where I grew up. It was actually the first place that the Boston Marathon ever took place, but then they moved it to Hopkinton. I don't know why. And then I'm just gonna put on like my Reeboks. Very cash, very comfortable. And then I'm gonna start in this. So I know that I'll wind up getting warm. So this will be my first episode look and then I'll just take this off for the second one. A lot of the times I will full blown change my whole outfit but today I'm just like not there. So this will do. Fun fact. I need to go make lunch and finish some stuff up before we go. These are the fits. Welcome to our daily vlog. I wonder if this light will help. Oh my god it helps so much. <laughs> we haven't vlogged vlog vlog in so long. I literally just saw a comment that was like I miss your vlogs. So we're gonna vlog today. It's um a good influences day. Oh my god, why can't I get my hair It's a good influences day, so we're recording two episodes. But we gotta get ready first. Oh, my hair is too short to do anything. I'm only doing this because I need to like wet my face down. I feel like every time we do these, I have like different skincare that I like to use, but I've been using this consistently for like six months. Oh, it's so nice. It's snail mucin. It works well when your face is already like damp with water, but like look at the texture. It's just super moisturizing. It just feels really good, especially like first thing in the morning. Oh, I love it. I love it. I really hope Nolan made coffee because we got this other coffee from Trader Joe's. Well, it was it's cold brew. We got these like cold brew containers from Trader Joe's and we both were like not feeling anything from it. Like halfway through the day, I was like, I feel like I haven't any caffeine. So if you're a coffee drinker in the morning, I feel like you know exactly this fear. What is this? Well, this is setting into my face. Let's go down and see. What the coffee vibe is. Babies. It's just pretty much every morning. <laughs> it's so funny. They just look like they couldn't care less about anything in the world. <laughs> this much coffee has been left. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll just have to have the Trader Joe's one that gives you zero caffeine at all. Because this is not enough. Well, maybe it is. Let me see how much it'll fill. 
Okay, yeah, it's like halfway full. Maybe I'll just drink half of this and then have the rest of the cold brew. Okay, yeah, coffee drinkers, beware. I swear to God, this has like no caffeine in it. Nolan and I both yesterday felt like we never woke up for the day. Okay, I am gonna show you what I've been having for breakfast recently. I posted this on TikTok. I've actually like been vlogging a lot more on TikTok. Um, I don't know why I just really like TikTok, but I've been eating this so often and it's so good. It doesn't look like it would be good, but once you like add all the goodies, it's good. <laughs> Last night I just put chia seeds, put some like almond milk and yogurt, mix it up and put it in the fridge and that's it. And then it's, you know, looks like this. Again, it doesn't look incredible, but when you add all the good stuff, to me, it's really yummy. We're gonna add granola to have that, you know, little crunch moment. Okay, we're gonna put some Honey in it. And then we had some peanut butter. I feel like I'm the only person in LA that still likes peanut butter instead of like almond butter, but there's just nothing beats it. You can't take the Midwest out of the grill, you know? Then we're gonna add some of these blackberries. And then these things are also so freaking good. They're just dried wild berries, but they're a little bit chewy. So it's really, really, really good and stuff like this. I'll show you, I know you can't see the bowl, <laughs> but I will show you the final product once it's done. This is what it's shaping up to be. I don't know if it looks appetizing to anybody, but it's truly delicious. I gotta pack my lunch and then that's it. And then I'm gonna go to Aaron's. It's actually kind of sad because Matt moved. So normally it would be me, Matt, Mike, and Aaron all driving together because we all live very close together. But since Matt moved, now it's just me, Mike, and Aaron, which is still very fun. But we don't get to like, you know, have our silly goofy moments with Matt before the podcast anymore. Everything made different. I've never today. been okay, okay. Usually love our singing. I've What's never it? been happier that YouTube has copyright rules because that means we had to turn down <laughs> the Taylor Swift. We did have to turn we Mike is getting roasted in our comment section of our most recent Good Influences episode. Why? I don't know okay, if I'm so getting roasted so much as like people's mental illness is on full display. <laughs> But if that many people are saying something, like, don't you think maybe it's you? No, oh. I think that if you are personally offended that a, that someone that you like doesn't like everything that you like, oh yeah, you might maybe just no, but you can't. Your, I think their it's, problem it's, is that you can't even be like, yeah, she does have a couple good songs. Like you're just like, no, I just don't like it. No, I, I think that's fair. No, I, you I'm not entitled. liking it is fair, but you saying she's just a basic songwriter is that, just morally my, wrong. It's is, my. Wrong. It's morally it's wrong. Morally and You're allowed to have an opinion, but that doesn't mean it's right. Is this title going to be addressing the addressing the controversy? <laughs> yeah, probably. Hopefully. Um, I, I am also just not the demographic of who Taylor Swift is writing music for. I don't think mid thirties Jewish male. Yeah, like that's <laughs> when she's talking about you are my lover in a Starbucks or whatever. She doesn't say that. That's, that's not even the right word. I know. I know. I know. It's also one of the singles that's like not. I just don't think that her lyrics are that interesting. To me, it's very surface level. Well, no, it's but just very. That's just like wrong. There's just no. They, it, they aren't surface level. There's no. Me, there's no metaphors. There's what? no innuendos. Her whole, her whole album, Evermore Folklore, are full of metaphors. She, she might as well have just called them metaphor more. <laughs> yeah, for real. Anamorph. Anamorph and more. To me, again, Our next, <laughs> it's impossible for someone to like Anamorph. resonate with everybody. When I hear I her songs, I literally feel nothing. It's yeah, I think like, everyone's okay. issue is that you're just like hating to hate and like, well, But I'm I... not. I'm not. I'm just not going to be like, yeah, no, this is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing is, we're like, I just don't like Taylor Swift or her writing. I'm like, okay, that's fair. But when you go a little bit further and say, <laughs> and I personally... writing is very basic and it's just literal, that's yeah. just wrong. Yeah. That maybe that just means that your brain can't comprehend <laughs> art. He's also a man. I like, mean, I he's already changing the song. Well, I'm just looking for like, I don't know, another what, Justin lyricist. Bieber? No, like, I mean, I think a lot of pop. The Mars Volta. Pop, I mean. We can talk about that all day. Pop music in general is just pretty surface level. Who's your level. favorite pop artist? Uh, like Backstreet Boys? No, I mean like Rosalia I think is the greatest artist well, right now. You don't even know surface. what she's saying. I do, I do. <laughs> you can speak Adam Melcher's I read the, lyrics are super surface level. <laughs> Adam Melcher's lyrics yeah. are super... Yeah, he. I've never met a more surface level no, artist. Right. You gonna pull up Uber? No. You wanna pull up the Uber app on your phone? This is how I feel when you say Taylor. Yeah. They're just not. And I would be like, yeah, there are some bands I listen to. That I'm like, yeah, it's surface level. Like, I don't know. 
they just say what they say, but Taylor Swift has so many metaphors and poetry. You're just... I mean, this is going to sound... Uh, oh, what? Like Jack White, I think, is what Taylor Swift thinks she is. Like Jack White's lyrics. Have you ever heard any old White Stripe songs about... I mean, I don't I'm care. gonna take more. No, not that one. Seven like, Nation Army couldn't hold me back. Uh, I just don't care about a man singing about love. Like, okay. the woman is knows everything. What I don't about, think that about, Taylor Swift thinks okay. she's anyone other than Taylor Swift. That's fair. What about, like, here's who I like. I like Fiona Apple. Oh, you're a what about her? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying other pop female okay, artists Fiona that Apple. I like. Fiona Apple. Sarah Barry Ellis. You, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I, okay. Not Sarah Bareilles. I happen to be okay with the basic lyrics because I like the music that she writes. Okay. Taylor Swift's music to me is also Sarah Bareilles' "Gravity." I will say that's um, a phenomenal song. Yeah, to like listen the, to that. Like if I didn't know the lyrics, but you better know every fucking word. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't believe a thing you say. I feel as though I'm starting to understand the comment section a little better the more you keep talking. No, I the more I keep. Oh, you're not taking my <laughs> side. <laughs> Grumpy old man. <laughs> No, people, people did say that they were like, he's just a grumpy old man. I was like, well, that's funny. Uh, like, that's why I think that you're really funny. Also, I sent Carly a comment. I was gonna maybe read it on the podcast, but I think you'll get a big kick out of this. In between all of the like Mike hate comments, which are just, it's fine. He's allowed to not oh, like Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Um, someone Jesus, left a comment thank you. saying, love the pod, but find the ad reads so cringy to watch. Oh, yeah. You can literally see them reading straight from a script and not even bothering to try and memorize the lines. Guess what? That's an ad read. <laughs> That's what you Could do. Could you imagine commenting that? Okay, but here's the thing. That's why I said to Eric. Well, Drew, Matt and I used to do it on Hoot and a Half. Yeah, but it's like it doesn't matter. We Every like podcast. But why? I, I can and it's, it, Yeah, I don't know. I, and I think Who's watching them anyway? It's so much cheesier well, to be like, hey, guys. Did you hear about? It's like cheesy to do it that way. Yes, it's way easier to be like. Hey also, guys, on is podcasts, blah, blah, blah. it's like that's just what it is. I realize I actually don't. There's like a a lot of people whose lyrics I really don't like. Still on this. Okay, we'll see about the studio. This is like everything I want right now. Well, because today we recorded at like. It was eleven? Yeah. All the McDonald's breakfast food is gone. Oh, it was? I thought it was all day. Not anymore. Oh is it all day? I thought. Maybe they changed it back. Well, that's when I pulled up the menu change. Oh. So Sad. my go-to McDonald's <laughs> order, honestly, is just two <gasps> McDoubles. Oh. Uh, can I have a bite? Yes. Just one bite. I feel like the kid who like whose parents brought him <laughs> like lunch at McDonald's. school. Because <laughs> we're all like, McDonald's. oh my god. Yeah, the kid that like strolls in after the dentist appointment. Yeah. Mm, I want the full thing. It hey is for the people who don't know, it's Grimace's birthday. What? What is? What is Grimace? He's the character, that like big purple guy. Yes, but what is he? Oh. He's a Grimace. Wait, He's I think I know. I know. I think I know. I think I know what Grimace is. Wait, what is he actually? I I think think he's a take. No. He, what do you mean by that? Go on, a character. Wait, hamburger. Like a Muppet. Oh. No, no. He, so he's a monster. He's, yeah. No, I know what he is. I I know what this. Is he? He's then a. Then say it. <laughs> he's a ta he's a taste bud. What? <laughs> Are you being serious? Google it. Google, Google what it. is grimace. What the fuck is grimace? I'm pretty sure he's a taste bud. Like he's something. He's something. A taste bud. He's. <laughs> he's like medical. No, or it says grimace is a large purple, rotund being of in. Determinate species with short arms and legs. Not a taste bud. Me. <laughs> Just in. They can't. They don't know what he is. Oh, well, my Google says <laughs> he's a taste bud. Oh, sorry, he Mike. Is what he Whoa. Mike's off the bird seed diet, finally. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? What the hell? Wait, so he is a taste bud? No. Well, he said something. Grimace is a taste bud, McDonald's Grimace manager is, oh. reveals. All right, we are home from the podcast. I have a package that I have been thinking about since we left. It got delivered at like 9.59 and I'm so thankful because no one was home today. So no one would have been able to bring it inside and like, I get so nervous about packages, especially if it's like nice stuff, but I am going to Bonnaroo this weekend. You guys will obviously see this after I have been there. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. I normally, I don't really do much like in-store shopping 
anymore. I will just order a shit ton of stuff online and then return it. And that's how I shop. So I am going to Bonnaroo. That's in Tennessee. I ordered a ton of shorts. I'm also going to New York the following week. So this week. Um, and it's a little hotter. And a lot of my shorts I don't really fit into anymore. Like I got a lot of shorts that are like a little bit longer. I'm going to be 32. I got to be appropriate. I wanted to get a pair of denim overalls. I'm gonna try these on. I wanted to get these for Bonnaroo specific. I feel like it's like the perfect vibe. They are really like a light denim, which is great. So minimal like chafing, but I obviously have to try them on. Sometimes overalls can just be like so hit or miss. So I really, I gotta try. And then a little splurge moment, which I will probably return, but I was like, could be fun. A little birthday gift. I got a top to go underneath it that I feel like would be really cute, right? Like, that's cute. Where to begin? <laughs> there's a lot in this bag. I mean, there's lots of stuff. <laughs> But I feel like I should try on some of the shorts for you guys. The first pair is Citizens of Humanity. I actually really like these ones. They're, I like how they're a little bit longer because then you can kind of like dress them up if you wear like a more fancy top and then like some kitten heels or something. They honestly fit perfectly and I really liked them. The next pair is a Goldie. And while they do fit really well, I really don't like how the legs kind of puff out a little bit probably will not keep these ones i don't really love the fit on this one and then these white ones that are so cute are by girlfriend i feel like this can definitely go with the like dress them up vibe i don't really know about the slit in the back but i feel like that makes them like a little casual i almost wish it wasn't there though and then lastly this would be my outfit for bonnaroo i immediately am like okay i don't need the top and that can go back and thank God because it's so expensive. However, I do love these overalls. I think they're a great pair. I love that they're so light and I will probably keep these and wear them to Bonnaroo, so. Cute, slay. I'm gonna open the rest. What are you up to, Carl? Okay, I've truly been rotting away since um, Good Influences. We did two episodes. We did an Am I the Asshole episode and we did just like a regular like talking video. Now 5.30 and I have Pilates at six. So Erin inspired me on our podcast. We were talking about how she was like clearing out all of her um, athletic wear that she like never actually wears. And so I kind of did the same. So I literally only have, oh my God, the lighting. I have two pairs of, of Lulu leggings and then I have one, well I have three, but I have two that are like regular workout leggings and then one that's like a flare pant which I also really like so that's all that I own in leggings right now which is kind of a slay because I don't really like to wear anything else right now can't forget the Pilates socks I actually have been going to Pilates for like a year now I just got an email like I already kind of knew that but I don't know when exactly I got an email last week that was like it's your year anniversary and I was like well that's crazy I've never committed to any exercise <laughs> like this um but I'm excited because my friend Emma usually takes the Wednesday class with me. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. Um, so she'll be there. We normally would like do Pilates together and then I'd go to her house and we'd watch Vanderpump. But now Vanderpump is basically over. So I don't know what's going on. I told her I'd hang out with her if I didn't feel like dead after. <laughs> I'm like super out of it today for some reason. And I just like don't like being around people when I'm out of it. Cause I'm just like, I feel like I'm just acting like a wall. You know what I mean? Like I'm just a wall, a blank wall. Oh, my Apple watch. I don't want to forget that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be putting on deodorant, so don't even worry. And then I'm gonna go to Pilates and um, maybe Emma's after, we'll see. Okay, we just finished Pilates. I It woke me up a little bit. I am a person again. And then Erin texted me and she was like, red alert, red alert emoji. I hope you're at Pilates, you have to come here after. So, and I was like, can I wake up? She's like, even better. So I have no idea what is at our house. I'm like, is it a dog? It's a pony. It's a cat. It's the cast of Vanderpump Rules. <gasps> like, it's insane. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what it would be. It's giving like David surprising us, but not scary. It's nice. What if it's no Swift? snakes. <laughs> the impersonator again. <laughs> I, I really have either. no idea. I was like, I barely know her. <laughs> Maybe TJ got like a Diet Coke machine. <laughs> I don't know. I love guessing though. It's fun. <laughs> I have no good ideas. Is it like a 14 foot skeleton? <laughs> they wouldn't surprise me with that. <laughs> they do have a 14 foot ghoul. That's so it's cool. Definitely not that. I love that. I guess we'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we just did the surprise. Okay, it is something that I can't put on 
YouTube at the moment, but you guys will see it eventually. I know that's like so annoying, such a YouTuber thing to say. But it has nothing to do with me and Erin. <laughs> it's not us, it's something else. So I wanted to update because it wasn't filmed and I did all this hype. It is not a Diet Coke machine. I wish, I wish it was. It's not a pony. It's not a pony, um, but we're gonna get sugar taco, which is so good. It's like a vegan mm. taco mm -hmm. plate. It's really the only like vegan food that I really like. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mexican food also, so love that. And then we're just gonna go eat at our house. Did we get the churro donut? I tried, I put it in there. We'll see if it's there. If it's not there. They have, Erin and I, have, we vlogged it on our channel before. I had to try it. She was like, you need to try this churro donut. So um, good. Also, somebody like blocked me in in the Pilates parking lot, which makes no sense. So we're gonna go back and hopefully my car will be free because that's really rude. TJ just made me dinner and I am so excited to share this. He made Big Mac tacos. We saw it on TikTok. He made it the other night and we had like extra everything. So he made them again. And I'm, s you guys like have to make them. I will link the recipe. Crispy tortilla, you hear that? Oh my God. I mean, I think I could legitimately eat a dozen. Oh my God, they're so good. One of my favorite foods is a cheeseburger and also tacos. So this together, I mean, just amazing. Stop everything you're doing and make them. <laughs> okay, I am fully in bed now. I think it's like literally 8.15 or something. I packed, I washed my face. I did all of the things, but I thought it would be really exciting to show you guys something very old school and funny. I mean, it's not funny, but just like for the mems. We use a Canon M something. It's, it's big. M50, I want to say. I don't know. Last Christmas, TJ got me a Sony camera that's like really thin and small and I love it. But for like the I honestly I was gonna bring it to Utah in December to vlog but um it was so blurry so I have not gotten it fixed because that like requires me going to Best Buy etc etc but I do have my G7X which this is an antique piece and I found it in my drawer the other day and was like oh maybe I could just like vlog on this and the battery didn't work it wouldn't charge i didn't even have the charger for the battery so then i ordered some on amazon they got here today i charged them up she works perfect i will say though this camera is out heavy <laughs> the sony one i have is so little and small but um yeah so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna take it out this weekend maybe take some pics we'll see how it how it works I see like all these um like influencers now are using this for photos. So I'll be interested to see how it works. I'll say the one thing I hate about this camera is that it only flips up like this. Oh my God, well, look at those finger marks. Literally probably <gasps> inception. That is my day today. It's eight o'clock. We're getting up for the airport probably around 3.30 in the morning. So I'm tired. I've had a day and I'm ready to go, but that's going to be it for me. Take it away, Carly. So something about me is I did not film anything else the rest of the day. I totally forgot to do like a little outro, but that's like literally it. I went to Emma's, we had sugar taco. It was so good. I was gonna stay and watch the Kardashians uh, because it premiered that night. It came out at nine on Hulu for us on the West Coast. We're like so lucky we get it at nine o'clock and not midnight like the East Coast. Um, but I just simply didn't care enough to stay. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm going to go home and get in bed. So that's what I did. And that's all that I literally did the whole night. We just said sugar taco. We hung out and then I came home and I slept the night away. Doing the daily vlogs are so much fun. So thank you for watching. And I guess that's it. Sorry. I like forgot to record an outro and like what I did the rest of the night, but it's really like not that impressive. So this is it. Bye. But I don't really ever partake in I don't buy it ever. drinking regular milk if i brought regular milk home nolan would perish i think <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like what oh, the no. hell is this <laughs>